Craig again from Heck Yeah, You Can Cook. And today you're going to make my fresh green beans special. That's right, it's perfect for the holidays or any day of the week or any time you have some friends or family over and you just don't want plain green beans. Uh, while I've got your attention, it's a great time for you to hit that subscribe button below this video. We are excited about the growth of the channel. Uh, please remember every time we get 100 new subscribers, we give away an apron. Please subscribe today. You can check us out also on our Facebook group at Heck Yeah You Can Cook, as well as we're on the internet, Instagram, and TikTok. Oh, and Pinterest. So everybody, today's tools you're gonna need are pretty simple for my super kicked up green beans. You're gonna need a large frying pan. I'm using my largest one today. It's just a little easier to work with. And I've got that preheating right now on two. You're gonna need a lid for that as well. Ingredient. Oh, Spatula, heck yeah, you're gonna use spatula still to uh, stir this stuff around with. You can also use a pair of tongs and don't be surprised if you see me break those out today. The ingredients for today's dish, you're gonna need half a tablespoon of olive oil, just half. You're gonna need a teaspoon of fennel seed. This is my really secret ingredient it makes. Fennel seed is a wonderful spice, by the way, if you don't use it. I've got one ounce of sliced almonds, only one ounce. You don't wanna overpower the green beans. And this is 12 ounces of green beans, washed um, in, snapped off. You can use up to a pound with this recipe. I bought a bag at the grocery store. I thought it was a pound. You know how things are today. They took off four ounces. They trying to make money? Heck yeah. A little bit of salt, I had a pinch, pinch the taste. We're gonna come back. I'm gonna show you putting this on the stove top. The steps it takes, very simple dish, very easy to do. Okay, everybody, we've been preheating the skillet for a while. Add the olive oil. Do the magic, I look like I'm a professional chef move. Spread that around. By the way, I'm not a professional chef, nor do I pretend to be one. We're gonna add the green bean. We're gonna add the fennel. I always put this on top. I like it to work through the green beans. That's why there's a little bit of a different. You'll see some people will put that on first. I like to put it on top of the green beans. Pinch of salt. I'm gonna turn it down to between low and two. Not quite all the way down, but very low. We're gonna put a lid on it. We're just gonna let them soften for about three minutes. Three or four. We're gonna stir about every minute. I told you I'd break out the tongs. As you can see here, we've gotten the green beans getting softened. This takes a minute. Got the fennel wrapping around it. Now, the length of how time long you cook this is completely up to how soft you like your green beans. My family likes them a little snappy, so I don't cook it as long, so feel free to cook it Oh, I don't know, seven or eight minutes at this point. Now this is where you add and when you add your almonds. Once again, if you've cooked it to seven minutes, it's fine. This is just the almond time. Take that ounce of almonds and just work it around. And I add a little more salt at this time when I've added those almonds. After you work the salt in, I cover, leave it on this temperature it's at, cook it another three minutes, but this time I don't stir. Okay, everybody, we've had three minutes go by. Got that toasted almond flavor in there with the green beans. Now, I know this isn't scientific, but when I start to smell green beans is when I know my green beans are done. Once again, it's about how soft you want your green beans. These are still pretty crispy, right? But you can tear them pretty easily. That's the level I like them at. You can go another couple minutes. You see the almonds are nice and toasted color. This time I pull them off. Them in a bowl. Got that wonderful toasted almond smell. 
going right with the green bean. Your level of doneness is what you want. This is not one of those recipes that is exact because people like green beans at different levels. If you want to kick these up a fuller notch, this is a good time to add, and I didn't put it on the video, but you can add a tablespoon of butter right to the top if you'd like at this time and let that seep through. Okay. There you go. Ready to serve. Green beans kicked up. Green beans with almonds. Super almond, green beans, whatever you want to call it. Wonderful for the holidays. Great quick side dish any day of the week with a little toasted almonds. Um, almonds are a good friend, a great ingredient. Everyone have a wonderful day. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And please, remember if you'd like to right now, it'd be a great thing to put a little dab of butter on there. Let that work through. Have a great day.